Hello, everybody. Today, uh, we're beginning where we left off. Uh, we'll be uh, studying again with JavaScript. And um, I wanted to um, just uh, say something before we started. If you've um, been following us along on this journey and uh, you're not actively a part of a study group, uh, please go to w3develops.org. And uh, also find um, in the navigation bar, there's a chat. Uh, we have a Discord chat, and that's free to join. Uh, it's also free to join our study groups. Please fill out that form and um, join us in the Discord chat. We're always happy to have new faces and, and uh, new voices in the, in the chat. And um, we'd also like to connect you with um, a developer group this group uh, happens to study JavaScript. If you're more advanced and or just looking to get into uh, something like React, uh, we're starting a, um, a React study group. Um, to find out more details, please go to uh, the W3Develops Discord chat. And uh, we've made an announcement about the details of that. Um, but um, I'm here with Mesfin, and uh, we're going to continue with the studies today in JavaScript, and without further ado, here we are. Uh, today, we're starting with concatenating strings with plus operator. In JavaScript, when the plus operator is used with a string value, it is called the concatenation operator. You can build a new string out of other things by concatenating them together. Example. Uh, the string my name is Alan, comma, plus, and then the string space I concatenate. Uh, note, watch out for spaces. Concatenation does not add spaces between concatenation or concatenated strings, so you'll need to add them yourself. So if you note here, there's a space. Uh, otherwise, if there wasn't a space, it would just be squished together. Um, we can kind of walk through some of that. All right, so build maestra from the strings. This is the start period space, and this is the end using the operator. All right, so let me move my. I have a little window in the way. All right, so we have this is the start period space, and this is the end. All right, so if we console log that, it will give us the complete sentence. Yeah. We can use also the single quote, right? There's no difference. Uh, no difference. Um, yeah, they use double quotes here. As long as you don't uh, mix match, mismatch them, like I've yeah. done here, as long as you continue with the same yeah. Uh, the same uh, types of quotes. Yeah. I think that's a that's a fine. Um, okay. So let's make sure that that passed. And it did. All right. Concatenating strings with the plus equals operator. We can also use the plus equals operator to concatenate a string onto the end of an existing string variable. This can be very helpful to bring a string, a long string over several lines. Note, watch out for spaces. Concatenation does not add spaces between concatenated strings, so you'll need to add them yourself build my string over several lines by concatenating these strings. This is the first sentence, period, space. This is the second 
the second sentence using the plus equals operator. Use the plus equals operator similar to how it is shown in the editor. Start by assigning the first string to my string, then add the second string. All right. Oh, I think I need to reset this because I've already done it. I'm going to reset it. And let's try it again. This is the first sentence. And then let's say my string plus equals this is the second sentence. All right, console log it. All right, and we can test this to see what it's doing by well, I guess I could have just done this. If we see before this plus equals operator, the string is just the first phrase. Obviously, it hasn't been added. But once we use the operator, uh, the text then becomes something different. Yeah. All right, let's run the test. Uh, uh, is it checking the the text that it's that first? This is the first sentence. There's a misspelling there. Oh yeah, I did. Checking it that much. Good find. It's always these little details, man. Uh, little, the little details are critical. All right, let me take this snippet and I'm going to make um, an ad uh, concatenating with plus and plus equal. All right. Like, uh, I think the other day I was struggling with, or yesterday I was struggling with um, with one of the exercises and it was like one period was in the wrong place or, no, no, it was with the escapes. Oh. I, um, I had forgotten to use the, the final escape to, um, and, it was confused and I was confused, but uh, I figured it out. Constructing strings with variables, sometimes you will need to build a string. Madlib style. Do you know what Madlibs are? Madlibs. Uh, Madlibs. Have you, have you heard of what those are? No. Okay. If you're not, if you're not uh, familiar with what Madlibs are, uh, click on this link, but it's basically um, filling in a sentence with uh, just a type of word. Okay. So <clears throat> maybe like as an example, you would say, um, I am a, then you would say noun. Oh, okay. That runs very, and then you'd say adjective. Oh, okay. You know, so it's like something like that. Yeah. And so in their sentence, you know, 
like our sentence, you know, you would assign this would be a variable. So it'd be like this would be my noun. Um, and then this would be my adjective. Yeah. So my noun and my adjective, they can change based on whatever the user inputs yeah. for those. And then um you know, but these are kind of like school kid games, like we would use Mad Libs. Yeah, see, like, so there's something like an exclamation, like, stop. Yeah. He said, quickly, as he jumped into the convertible yeah. uh, car Mustang and drove off with his uh, beautiful wife, yeah. you know, but you know the 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 greatness of the game would be that they they've never seen the sentence and you just say you know give me an exclamation word like ouch you know and then give me an adverb give me a noun an adjective and they don't know what the topic is they don't know what the sentence is going to be they just say the first the first noun that comes into their mind mm. you know and then you play the game and then you insert their noun and their adjective and their verb and their exclamation. And then you kind of like have a laugh because usually it's pretty off the wall and doesn't make sense, but uh, it's just kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. They, they probably have something similar like that in your country. Uh, yeah. There is some kind of a bit similar, but not exactly the same, but yeah. 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 Yeah, in English, Amer especially American English, we call that Mad Libs. I don't know that they do that in England, but they probably do. Yeah. But uh, yeah, all right. So by using the concatenation operator plus, you can insert one or more variables into a string you're building. Set my name to a string equal to your name and build my string with my name between the strings my name is and i am well so my name Elliot, and i don't need the space okay my name is And then my name and I am well exclamation All right and we'll use the good old handy dandy console log to tell us that my name is Elliot. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get the code snippet. And boom. Done. All right. Appending variables to strings. Just as we can build a string over multiple lines out of string literals, we can also append variables to a string using the plus equals operator. Some adjective and set some adjective and append it to my string using the plus equals operator. All right, so we can. Um... So this would be a good place to try the Mad Lib game. So some adjective, um, green, I'm just gonna say green. And then we have that and we would just say, uh, my string plus equals some adjective. And then we would console log it. And it would be my string. 
Learning to code is green. <laughs> All right. And so that doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. Because my code, learning to code is fun. Yeah. All right. Challenge twenty seven. I'm going to save it. And back to our code. <clears throat> And how much time have you got? Uh, about seven. Seven, seven minutes. Yeah. Okay. Find the length of a string. You can find the length of a string. All right, and my daughter has joined us. All right. Find the length of a string value by writing dot length after the string variable or string literal. So Alan Peter dot string will return 10. If you actually counted up every character, it would come back as 10 too. For example, if we created a variable var first name equals Charles, we could find out how long the string Charles is by using the first name dot length property. Use the dot length property to count the number of characters in the last name variable and assign it to last name length. All right, so, okay. Let's see. So last name length and let's return console log. Last name length is that so it's eight. So it's counting also uh, space, right? Uh, it would be if if there was a space. Mm. In this situation, there's not a space. Um, um, we could change this so that it would be a double name. Um, like Griffin, um, I don't know, Davis. So even the space, it's counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it's including the space. I guess I could have done that a lot faster. But. And the counting start from one, not from zero. It's like, it's not like index, like array. It's indexed, but the output of the length is not, um, I suppose it's converted. Yeah. If we wanted to, to count <laughs> from the zeroth number or the um, the nth number, then it would be different. I don't know how you're... <laughs> All right, so let's run this. Um, oh, I need to change this back. I'll just do that. 
Okay, so it's supposed to be eight. All right, use bracket notation to find the first character in a string. Bracket notation is a way to get a character at a specific oh. index within a string. Most modern programming languages like JavaScript don't start counting at one like humans do. They start at zero. This is referred to as zero-based indexing. For example, the character at index zero is the, world, is the word in the word Charles is C. So if var first name equals Charles, you can set the value of the first letter of the string by using first name bracket zero close bracket. All right, use bracket notation to find the first character in the last name variable and assign it to first letter of last name. All right, so dot length, or no, dot. Okay, end of the bracket notation. So console log the first letter of the last name. And that's what they wanted, right? Yeah. So it's gonna be L. Try looking at the if you get stuck. Okay. Yeah. So can we get this code snippet? And I'll drop it in there. Understanding string immutability. In JavaScript, string values are immutable, which means that they cannot be altered once created. For example, the variable, the following code, var my string equals Bob, my string bracket zero bracket equals J cannot change the value of my string to job because the contents of the <coughs> string cannot be altered. Note that this does not mean that my string cannot be changed, just that the individual character characters of a string literal cannot be changed. The only way to change my string would be to assign it with a new string like this. Okay. So they just used a totally new assignment. Correct the assignment of my string. So it contains the string value of hello world using the approach shown in the example. All right, so we can't use that. We have to use. Hello world. Okay. And then we run it. And I won't even bother saving that one. It was just so easy. Um, strings cannot be changed by using the index notation. All right. Times 30. All right. 
find the nth character in a string. You can also use bracket notation to get the character at other positions within a string. Remember that computers start counting at zero. So the first character is actually the zeroth character. Let's try to set third letter of last name to equal the third letter of the last name variable using bracket notation. Try looking at the second letter of first name variable declaration if you get stuck. Okay, so that's going to be the second. And if we console log that, it's going to be third letter. It's going to be V, which is yeah. correct. So we start counting from zero. Yeah. All right. the code and okay how much more time have you got uh i think you know i should go okay all right me. so we'll stop here i'll uh put the name here that uh we started and um uh feel free to sign off uh Nesvin. i'm just gonna set, close out with some other oh. remarks but um Okay. Have a good day and um, uh, <clears throat> we'll see tomorrow. Okay. Keep me posted on what you're reading or what you know what you're working on. Um, let me know if you're working on other things that you need uh, you need a review of it or something like that. <laughs> but um, happy coding to you. All right, thanks. All see right, you. all right, later. Yes. <clears throat> And that will conclude today's recording. Um, I will say this, um, if, if you are um, watching to this point of the video, I would encourage you to go over to our uh, LinkedIn page. <laughs> and, um, once this loads, I'll be able to show you. Um, so if we're looking at LinkedIn, um, you can notice that uh, I'm a junior web developer and community manager at w W3 Develops. Um, I would encourage you uh, to um, definitely improve uh, your LinkedIn if you if you have one. Or if you don't have one, um, I would totally encourage you to um, to get engaged with uh, with LinkedIn. Uh, it's a it's a great social network that uh, allows you to connect with other professionals um, and also uh, recruiters and uh, human resource uh, managers that are constantly scanning uh, for information and looking for people based on uh, their titles and uh, the information that they place even in uh, the bio section, uh, they look for keywords and then they filter um, those people uh, based on certain criteria and they watch your activity, they watch what you're doing. Um, I've included a few sections. Um, specifically, uh, I've added some titles that I've, I've held here at W3 Develops. Um, I started out, um, as a, a learner and if you're here <clears throat> and you're working <clears throat> as a learner <clears throat> we would love to uh, include you as an intern <clears throat> for our program and uh, also uh, if you've come on as a community manager then uh, we would like to help you on your journey uh, to becoming uh, a full stack web developer <clears throat> so please um, uh, definitely uh, include your information here 
in your LinkedIn. Uh, this is mine as an example. Uh, and then uh, go ahead and jump over to the W3 Develops um, site. <clears throat> if you've not already signed up for our, uh, for our cohorts or learning groups, then uh, please go to w3develops.org and uh, complete, complete one of these. Uh, if you're wanting to learn to code or you're wanting to build projects, um, both of these are uh, going to connect you with uh, the, the, um, the correct uh, way to join our group. Um, also, um, please check out our Discord chat on W3Develops. Um, uh, in our Facebook group, but the most active thing is uh, definitely our, our Discord chat. Um, that's where we're engaged. Um, you're coming to us from YouTube, um, but uh, also check us out on LinkedIn and uh, on Twitter. Uh, we're, we're pretty active on those social medias. Um, but uh, if you notice that uh, you can find the uh, people that are a part of W3 Develops, and um, I would encourage you to, uh, you know, find these people that uh, you've met on W3 Develops and, uh, uh, you know, give each other um, kudos and uh, connect with each other, but uh, also endorse each other uh, for skills that uh, you've, you've seen uh, them use and uh, to, sh to share uh, their gifts here. Um, I think I'm going to connect with my friend Asia. Uh, and I am I'm right there. Uh, my two-year-old recognized my picture. So, yeah. Uh, and I would encourage you, make a, uh, you know, you don't have to have, like, the greatest picture in the world. But uh, I happen to have a professional photographer uh, photograph from a family portrait and um i've just reused that for probably close to four or five years now but uh, all my social media platforms have the same picture and um uh so people can definitely identify me by my brand of my picture and uh i would encourage you to do the same but uh that will conclude our uh our video today I appreciate you hanging around with us and uh, I wish you the best in your coding journey. Uh, please do take the time to subscribe to our channel. Uh, and uh, if you like these videos when they come out, please um, tap the bell. That'll give you a notification as soon as uh, we've uploaded something. Uh, also uh, just reiterate that we're, um, we're going to be starting the react group soon. Uh, so um, that'll be a, a short one hour a day uh, React study group. And um, uh, I would also um, <clears throat> just encourage, it, if you're here watching, please uh, ask us any questions. Um, what, uh, what throughout the, the beginning videos, what has uh, been helpful for you and um, what, uh, what has been confusing for you? Um, and um, along the way, whenever we're uh, doing these lessons, I'd encourage you before, uh, before I give you the solution or we work through the solution, I would encourage you to pause the video and to, to work through them on your own to see, to see if you can figure them out on your own without, uh, without my help. Uh, but uh, I would encourage you to uh, continue to give uh, uh, give yourself time to practice these and don't rush through them. Make sure that you understand every concept that we've gone over thus far and um, that uh, you're following along on your free code camp profile. Uh, but uh, I appreciate everybody that's watching and um, please do leave us a comment. Thank you. And with that, uh, I will stop the recording, but uh, happy coding to everybody. Thank you.